normally we start these off face to face, but uh, there's no knee brace on today. <laughs> nah. You playing without the knee brace now? How's it's, that feel? It's, it feels great. And I feel I'm fully recovered now. I'm more confident. And I'm back to 100% speed where I was. So, How has it kind of been assimilating back into the into the game this year? Um, It's been pretty good for me. It was pretty rough, though, like to start off with. I mean, I felt good, but then there was times where my knee would be real sore after practice, you know, just working back into it or the week after. Like, you know, just things that a little humps I had to get over with. But now that I'm finally completely healed, you know, it feels real good. And it, feel, it felt great just to work and just get better throughout the whole process. I'm sure you're sick of talking about it, but the lessons that you learned from last year, because something yeah. like that has to be humbling when you yeah. are kind of, there's a lot of talk about you playing really well in camp. Yeah. So what did you take from all that? Um, Just to be patient with yourself, be patient. You know, uh, understand that it's all God's plan. You know, um, can't rush things. And, you know, I was kind of rushing things. I was just looking ahead. And, you know, it's not my fault that it happened, but, you know, there's no one to blame. So you just got to take it step by step and, you know, just keep God first and, and just be patient with everything. When did you first hear the University of Colorado recruiting you? Um, probably towards uh, halfway to end of my junior college career, like towards the middle of the season, towards the end. You know, I was connected with uh, Corey Edsel at first because mm -hmm. he was uh, he's at University of Maryland with me. So he, he had me like kind of linked in with Colorado and just talked to me about it, you know, see if I was interested in it. And I told him I was. And so he kind of brought up my name and it kind of just started from there. So and that's how it was. Now that you're here, mm -hmm. How do you feel the decision was? Uh, it was great, 100%. I'm glad I came here. You know, the atmosphere here is great, the community, and just the team here, I see that we're, it's more than a rise now. You know, last year was a rise, and now it's never stopped rising because that's where we're headed, and you can see that again. So. With guys like Bryce and Devin and Shay, how much mm -hmm. can you learn from those guys who have been here for four years yeah. in the program? Um, it's been a lot, it's, it's a lot from them because, you know, they, they told me stuff that I didn't know as well. And I've learned a lot of stuff throughout my years and seeing them, I learned some stuff with them, and. I never played in the Pac-12. You know, they've been here all four years, and they've been giving me the ins and outs of everything and just how things go. And so it's probably been like a partnership with everybody. You know, they learned some stuff from me, and I learned a lot of stuff from them. We've heard a lot about the Black Eyed Boys, but mm -hmm. give me a little behind-the-scenes taste. What's it like? Is it really that close of a brotherhood? Yeah, definitely. Like receivers, like we know that we know what we're capable of, and we know like we each bring something different to the table. And just the fact that we're all so much talented, so talented, it just like brought us all together. You know that we can be the key to this team, you know, one of the major keys to this team, you know, on offense and just that, that and all just brought us all together. You know, we hang out a lot out of the football, you know, you see us probably all together most of the time. And, you know, it's, it's a real family. Everybody's close and we all connected and all funds and game, like all jokes, all jokes with us, you know, never, never take anything to the heart with us. When you have that much competition and mm -hmm. guys who can actually play, how much more does it motivate you to get better? Oh, yeah. That's the goal, you know, to get better every day. And just the fact that you have that person by your side, every, whichever way you look, you know, right, left, you have Dev, you know, you have Bobo, Shea. It just, no, it keeps pushing you. It pushes you because you can't lack. You know, you make, you make a lot of mistakes and, you know, next man's up. And we're all good, so it just pushes us. Can you kind of evaluate this offense and where you feel it is? I mean, there's been a lot of talk about it. Yeah. But it seems like you guys really got things rolling. Last oh, yeah. Week. You feel like this team's really ready to go and take yeah, the next Yeah, there, there was a lot of talk about us. You know, is the offense a problem, all this other stuff. And I felt we were always there. We were always had everything intact. You know, it was just little things we were missing, not connecting on certain things, okay. and just the just connection. Mm -hmm. But we all had it there. And you can see now that we're finally reaching to our full potential. And I feel this is the week we're going to explode. So last year, what was it like for you watching that UW game? Uh, it was hard. You know, uh, the first half went great. You know, we was down by seven at halftime. But just the fact that uh, I wasn't able to be out there hurt. You know, mm -hmm. we playing against, they were ranked uh, four, yeah. five, whatever mm -hmm. they were ranked. Mm -hmm. That's major exposure for the team, major exposure for yourself, you know, for the next level. That was just big in total for everything. So that was a game that I really wanted to be out and especially get to compete against those those boys over there. You know, we had top boys over here on defensive backs, but they also did as well. You know, their boys went second round, mm -hmm. all three of them. So I was really looking forward to that matchup for me, you know, to be able to go and compete against them. You know, I want to play against the best. So that's what I missed out on. I hear you. Yeah. Steven, what makes him fun to play with? What makes him a fun quarterback to play with? His energy, definitely. His energy, you know, this kid, he's a serious, he knows when to lock it in. But just his, his personality, energy, just he, he can get the crowd moving, he can get the, the players moving, and he's just a, kid, a good kid to be around.